Roberts on Morning Live. Good morning, Leanne. Good to be here. Uh, Minister, we normally have you announcing the tourism figures. Were they that good that the president had to get involved in this one? <laughs> Oh, yes, they were extremely good. This is an exceptional performance. You know, we keep on outperforming our competitors. We're doing much better, more than twice, uh, uh, more than double the international average. So we're extremely proud. And uh, we thought it was such an important announcement to make. And the president made the announcement. Uh, but the president was very supportive since he's been elected as president. We have a standalone department now. Tourism is one of the growth pillars in our new growth path. So uh, all of that reflects the importance of the contribution of this industry. Yeah. What, what do you think is driving us? I mean, we talk about double the global average. Why? What is it that South Africa is offering? Obviously, we have a good product to sell, but that is not enough. I think key to all of this is the very good partnership that we have between government and the private sector. I have to underline the very constructive, positive role of the private sector, a very reliable partner. But then we've decided to diversify. We cannot only rely on leisure tourism and safari tourism, as we did in the past. Mm. So new lifestyle products, uh, that's what the industry brought to the market. Cultural and heritage tourism. And very importantly, um, new, uh, uh, new National Conventions Bureau, convention and conference tourism is a growing industry all over the world. But uh, a very effective marketing strategy and understanding that we still have to have a profile and work on our traditional markets, United States, United Kingdom, Europe, but start to unlock the potential in the new emerging markets, China, India, Brazil, but also our own continent, Africa. Yeah, you talk about China. Looking at the figures, 55% um, is up from visitors in China. Europe is still the, uh, where we get most of our, our tourists from. Let's turn our attention to BRICS. Do you think this is helping? Being a member of BRICS, is this perhaps bringing more potential, more visitors to South Africa? Yes, Leanne. Uh, without any doubt, our partnership of BRICS is also helping on the tourism front. You know, many people ask, why are you joining BRICS? And obviously, there were many reasons, political reasons, economic reasons. But we see it now, um, the benefit of that being reflected in the tourist uh, arrival numbers. From the BRICS countries, we had growth of uh, 37, something percent. Now that is very impressive. And as this partnership uh, strengthens, we will see more direct ailings between the countries. As other sectors of the economy, uh, there's closer cooperation. We will see it uh, reflected in the tourism numbers. So without any doubt, from a tourism point of view, becoming a member of BRICS was absolutely the right thing to do. Let's talk numbers. Um, tourists spent 60 billion um, uh, Rand in South Africa in 2010. I mean, taking into account that that was the World Cup. Going forward to 2011, 100 billion Rand was spent. What are we looking at now? You know, last year, the contribution just from international tourists was uh, 76 billion Rand for the year. Now, yeah. that's a huge injection into the economy. And when we analyze that figures, it's quite interesting. The spend from the United States, tourists from there, that's up. Even with the economic uh, slowdown internationally, from Europe, it's up. From Asia, it's up. The only, only region where spent is down a little bit is from the African continent. And obviously, it is because disposable income on, on, on our continent is a little bit less percentage-wise than on the other continents. So from a spent uh, point of view, uh, this is also good news. Not only the numbers arriving, but uh, spent from most of the regions. Mm. It's increasing. That's very good news for us. What about job creation? Because, I mean, it's a big job spinner as well. It is. And uh, what the president did yesterday, he also announced the, uh, the results from the tourism satellite account. I know it's an awful name, but that's how it is known the world over. It is actually a mechanism mm. uh, to, uh, to measure the impact of tourism on the economy. And it's very interesting in terms of uh, job creation and contribution to the total workforce in the country. Uh, tourism uh, is contributing four and a half percent. Uh, total workforce in South Africa, that is double what mining, for instance, is contributing to the economy. But we've agreed in the sector, government and private sector, that we want to create a quarter of a million new jobs, additional new jobs, by 2020. And it is clear that we're well on our way there.
Fantastic. Minister, thank you so much for joining us. And, and I can't wait for them to send us to some exotic location again. I, this is, it doesn't feel right. Me looking at you with a sea behind you, but not actually standing in it, because that's what they make us do usually. <laughs> thank you for joining we'll us. We'll do it the next time and hopefully in one of our beautiful national parks. Can't. You're right. That is one of their jewels in our crown. Absolutely. Cannot wait for it. Martinez van Skolpveig, the Minister of Tourism here in South